Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush for Leech. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to multiply impatience flowering plant. Now, if you're a kind of a person who loves flowers and does not want to spend too much of time in taking care of them, then this is one of the plant you can add in your collection because impatience are kind of flowering plants that tend to put out a lot of blooms and a lot of flowers. In fact, the flowers are very, very striking and bright in color. They tend to change the environment completely. So if you want to add this in your collection, this is one plant you must. So it's very simple to multiply this plant. All you need to do is do a stem cutting. Now guys, you can cut any part of the stem and the plant will start to put out roots and you'll get a new plant. But over here, when I noticed, I seen that the stem had some aerial roots. Now, when you tend to see if the stem has aerial roots, it's always better to give a cut below the aerial roots. So if you do not have aerial roots, you can still do a stem cutting. But if you have aerial roots, there is nothing better than that. Because if the aerial roots are already present, then your plant will be in a better position to get established and then it will start growing healthy. But if it doesn't have aerial roots, it's absolutely no problem. You can just do the stem cutting and put it into the soil. Now, what I'm going to do over here, as you can see, I have a couple of aerial roots on this stem. So from this one plant, I'll try to multiply it into three different parts because I noticed that two of these stems on this plant has aerial roots. So I can separate two and then one I can just put it in another pot. So in total, I will be ending up with three different impatient plants. So guys, let me quickly give a cut. Now guys, remember whenever you're doing any kind of cutting, uh, the material that you're using that is scissor blade knife has to be sterilized do not use without sterilizing the cutting material otherwise the plant might get infected and might rot so over here i have done one cutting so let me check the second one so guys as you can see over here the second stem also has some aerial roots so i'll quickly go ahead and give it a cut so talking about the soil mix i tend to use the same soil mix that i've recently made a video on if you have not watched that video i'll put the link in the description below you can check it out now guys talking about the light i have placed this plant in such a location wherein it receives good amount of morning direct sunlight until 11 a.m so there is ample amount of direct sunlight until 11 a.m and then after 11 a.m it tends to receive indirect bright light now guys please do not expose your plants to direct afternoon sunlight it will burn the leaves and the flowers as well so ensure that you give a good amount of morning direct sunlight if you're going to give morning direct sunlight then it is going to produce a lot of flowers now guys this is the cutting that i had uh, taken from the plant so now i'm going to put it into the soil now guys ensure that your pot has a drain hole they do not like to be sitting in wet soil they do not like to be sitting in a pool of water so ensure that every pot that you tend to use for them has to have a drain hole and the soil should be well draining ensure guys that there is a slight moisture that is maintained in the soil the soil should not dry out completely so ensure that you maintain a slight moisture but at the same time do not keep the soil soggy wet now guys another indication if the plant needs water you'll start noticing that the leaves will get droopy like right now as you can see because i have been doing the cutting and it is in sun right now so you can see how the leaves have turned droopy and this is how exactly the plant will look when it needs water so guys whenever you see the plant is turning like this please ensure that you give it enough water otherwise the plant will start to dry so guys this is the second one i have also added that into the soil uh, this particular one has blooms now usually people say that you should cut off the blooms whenever you repot or whenever you have done a cutting i usually do not do it because this is much easy probably if it was some other plant i would have definitely cut off all the blooms but on this i have just left it as it is because it's very very easy to multiply and propagate with the blooms as well so guys, this was the second one. Now the third one, I'm going to use a slightly bigger pot. So guys, again, you can use plastic pots. You can use earthen pots, concrete, uh, terracotta, any pot. It will do quite well. But if you're using a concrete or a terracotta pot, then you'll have to do a little bit more of watering because these pots tend to absorb all the moisture from the pot, from the soil. So as I said, that this plant tends to like slight moisture in the soil. So if you're using a plastic pot, 
it's nothing better than that but if you're using a concrete or a earthen pot then you'll have to do a little bit more of watering now guys talking about fertilizers i tend to use the same liquid based fertilizer the compost tea that i usually use for my plants if you want to know how to make compost tea i will put that link as well in the description below you can check it out so now this is how they tend to look uh, this is almost after a month you can see how well they have grown this one was in the uh, concrete pot you can see how well and how lush it looks and this one was in the uh, plastic pot and the other one was in the paper creed pot so all the three of them are doing quite well definitely the blooms are slightly less because i've not added any fertilizer i'm currently working on a fertilizer if that experiment goes well i will definitely share that homemade fertilizer with you guys as well so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting